Hi, this is Ryan with Automatic Comics, and up next, I've got a little bit different kind of unboxing. It's uh, there is a there's a Golden Age book in here, um, but I think I'm going to do something a little different this time. All right, let's get started. Hi, so before we get into this, please remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. Um, so, like I mentioned, there uh, is a Golden Age book in here, as well as one other book that I, that I picked up. Um, but the Golden Age book, it's actually a real early Batman Detective Comics book, um, but it's ungraded. And so, I, I thought I would do something, you know, that was a little different. Um, I, I'd seen one of uh, the Double A's videos, so if you go check out Double A Comics, um, I'll put a link in his uh, to his channel kind of below. Uh, and... Uh, uh, he's done some where uh, you kind of get to take a look at, he does kind of like a, a flip through of the pages of, of the book. And so I thought that would be interesting with this one because a lot of times these books, you will only ever come across them graded. And um, so I thought it would be interesting to, you know, yeah, at first, you know, just kind of like see the book, but then kind of page through it and you get to kind of see the pages and everything like that and, and the, the story of that, of that book. So, uh, like I said, uh, there are there are two books in here. So I'll I'll show both of them, but one of them is is uh, definitely kind of more important to this uh, to me for this unboxing than the the other one. And so uh, the first book is just uh, this uh, this copy of Hawkman number four, and which is I've I've shown before. It's the first appearance of Zatanna, and. Uh, she's, you know, a, a key character in the Justice League Dark series. Um, and so, you know, her books, I think, they, they've gotten more expensive recently and will continue to get more expensive as, as that comes out on HBO Max. Uh, now, uh, I just, I, I seem to just, the low-grade copies just seem to come to me with that book. I think I've had three three O's. This is a two O. I've had a three five. I, I have yet to get a, a nice high-grade copy of it. Now, this other book... I'm going to take out of the bag. So, like I said, uh, this is a very early Batman Detective Comics book. It is extremely low grade, um, you know, probably a 0. 0.5. And, uh, but it is complete, and the cover still, like, you've still got a cool depiction of the cover. So, this is Detective Comics number 42. Um, there, there isn't anything particularly key about this issue other than the fact that it is the, what would it be, the 16th issue of Detective Comics, you know, like, uh, it is a, a very, very early appearance of Batman. Um, I believe it's 1940, uh, is this issue. And, um, it, it's the, it is the earliest Batman book that I, that I have in, in my collection now. And, and like I said, what I, what I thought we'd do, and I'm going to have to be real careful with it because obviously it's, um... It is a very uh, brittle, well, not brittle, but, you know, fragile looking book. You can see all the, you know, like the tape and everything that's along the spine and that. But, um, but yeah, I'll, I figured, you know, I'll, I'll do what I do for kind of for my grading videos, flip the camera around, and, and we'll take a look at it. All right, so let's get to that. Okay, so uh, let's get started with kind of flipping through this book. What I'll probably do is I'll just, you know, maybe play some music as I'm fl flipping through the pages, just to kind of have some background with it. Um, I mentioned, or I wanted to mention, one thing I really like about this cover, uh, one, it's got Batman and Robin on it, which is cool. Uh, two, it's not really a campy early cover, so, it, you know, it's kind of an action cover. And uh, the other thing I really like is that it, it kind of has a feeling like Detective Comics 31, where he's kind of got that silhouette uh, over the over that building, you know, and it's a real famous uh, cover. So, uh, you know, all those things I really liked. And even though, I mean, the spine is completely split, held together by tape, um, I, you know, the, the colors are still, still look pretty nice. And so it's kind of just a cool book. Uh, the other nice thing about showing <laughs> this one is that this thing is definitely a 0.5. And uh, so, you know, I'm not gonna really make it any worse or, you know, cause any additional damage to it. Now, 
Uh, I am going, I, I did do a, a quick page count and so everything is there. Um, I am going to uh, kind of hold it, give it some support for the first few pages because it just, uh, it's, it's real brittle, not brittle, but just real fragile uh, at the start. Um, so, and so you can see all the tape that's on that edge there. Um, so this first page is really cool. I mean, that's a creepy, that's a creepy page. You know, you got a skeleton on there and everything. Uh, but now, you know, I'll just, I'll kind of be quiet and I'll just flip through the pages. And uh, this was, I, I was, sorry, I was told this, that there was a, you know, a big piece that was, um, well, not a big piece, but a piece that's missing out of this arc here, so. Uh, but really nothing that impacts the story. That's pretty cool, you know, an advertisement for uh, Batman number two. And this is actually the center, and the centerfold is attached, uh, at least definitely at the top staple. The bottom staple might be, be torn through. But again, at a 0.5, <laughs> just doesn't matter. As you can see, throughout these books, there are a lot of different stories. It's not always just, you know, Batman. It's, it's all the pages themselves are almost split through. And that's the, the last page. 
you can see all the tape that's on this page as well. So yeah, so that's it. That's the, uh, that's the entire book. Hi, so that was Detective Comics 42. Uh, just something I, I thought, you know, this would maybe be fun and different um, because a lot of the books that I have are, are graded so you can't flip through them. Or if they're higher grade, I was a little more nervous about doing too much handling with them. And so this one, you can't do too much to it. Uh, but, but yeah, so I uh, just thought, cool book, August 1940 is when this one was published. And, you know, like I said, the earliest uh, Batman book that I, that I currently have. Love to get one that gets back into the, the into 39, but uh, man, they, that's that's some really low numbers. <laughs> so uh, one thing I just thought I'd show real quick, um, if you aren't familiar with kind of earlier Golden Age books, uh, they like I, I think I mentioned they they're more pages. So including the covers, I believe it's 68 pages, and so they tend to be thicker. And then especially with books like this that have a, kind of a spine roll, nothing's really lined up. They're they're wider than normal, and they will not fit in a normal Golden Age bag. And so uh, I have two types of Golden Age bags that I use. Um, this is one of them. You can see the sizing, the sizing on this one. You know, so this is uh, seven and five eighth inch inches by 10 and a half inches by uh, a one and a half inch flat. Um, and so, uh, but then the, uh, another type that you can get are these, which are, let's see here on the side, uh, these are eight inches by ten and a half inches, so they're three eighths of an inch wider, which gives you, and you can see it just still, it just it barely fits in this bag, and so uh, it gives you a little bit of extra space for these kind of older books that you know everything is in this tight, <laughs> and um, uh, because otherwise, you'll, if you try to put them in, they'll kind of fold up a little bit or bend a little bit, and it's just great for the books. So. Um, that's you know that's uh, that's it for this video. If uh, you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, if I you know if I have some more kind of books that I can do some flip throughs with, uh, hit the subscribe button, and I will film some more videos as I get in some more packages. Thanks again.